So what's the treatment for narrow angle glaucoma? Narrow angle glaucoma, similar to open angle glaucoma, we still focus on managing the eye pressure, except crowdedness of the eye is the main reason why you end up having high pressure. So eventually, as a permanent and the only permanent solution to narrow angle is actually cataract surgery. So if you look at this model again that I showed you earlier, um, the angle again is where this dome-shaped clear structure cornea meets the uh, half donut shape colored iris in the space where I insert my uh, finger right here is actually the angle. Right behind the angle, you notice there's a structure where I'm uh, pointing at right now. It's a transparent structure, almost like an M&M chocolate, except you're seeing half of it right now. That's our lens in the eye. Everybody is born with one lens in each eye. And when we're younger in babies, this um, lens is actually transparent and it's very flat. As we get older, this becomes more swollen. So I say it almost goes from an M&M chocolate shape to a ping pong ball shape. So it goes from flat disc to a ball. You can imagine when it does that, it's going to take more room in the eye. It will make the iris actually bowing forward and it pushes it more towards the cornea. Then you can imagine where the space between the cornea and the iris will become more and more narrow. So the reason over time, as we get older, we start to get cataract, your angle as a result always become more and more narrow over time. So it'll get to a point where your cataract starts to affect your vision and it's also making your narrow angle worse and the actual permanent solution to the overall problem is to actually remove the cataract. So once we remove that big ping pong ball in the eye in a, a process of cataract surgery, we then replace it with an artificial lens implant, which is a thin piece of plastic. You can imagine how much room exchange that would um, give the eye, basically loosen up the eye, give more room to all the other structures in the, inside the eye, including the angle. But there are times when we detect narrow angle at a point it's starting to affect your pressure and potentially how wide you could see or restriction in the visual field way before you have to have cataract surgery. In those cases, we don't necessarily remove the lens regardless. Um, even if you don't have cataract, we do not do the surgery then, but we recommend getting a, a separate procedure, a laser procedure as a intermediate step more to bridge you to fill in the gap between when you have problems with narrow angle to when you absolutely need cataract surgery. And this is a laser procedure called laser iridectomy or LPI for short. This is a process that's non-invasive as well. Nothing goes into the eye and you, we do that in a clinic base where the laser is meant to melt a small hole on the iris to act like an emergency exit in the eye. Should your own drain is not draining efficiently because it doesn't have enough room in a narrow angle situation, that little hole serves as an emergency exit when pressure goes up fluid can find a secondary pathway to go through without accumulating in a small space and causing extreme increase in eye pressure. So it's not necessarily that laser open up your angle or laser get rid of your narrow angle. It's not, that's not the case. Laser is done to buy you time, to give you a plan B or an emergency exit to prevent for the acute angle closure attack. It saves you from severe dramatic vision decrease from an attack, but it, do it doesn't necessarily permanently resolve the narrow angle issue altogether. That still relies on the cataract surgery that may come later in life, but at least having the laser done, which is a necessary procedure, it prevents you from having dramatic decrease in vision that none of us want to see in our patients.